The brand new Prodigy Mythical Epic is out now and it is called Luminite and we're going to be talking about it and looking into it more in this video. So let's just get into it. Pretty much we're right here in Prodigy and unfortunately we don't have the actual pet itself. However, we can take a look at it and see all of the cool things about it. So Luminite, which is basically Luma's um, counterpart is a brand new mythical epic and it is basically the new version of Luma. So Luma is the old version of Luminite and is the for one of the first ever Prodigy epics. It was, I believe, number, uh, number eight out of nine and it was, it's like a sun dragon. It is element fire and you can actually still get the toy of Luma today and in order to find out how to do that be sure to check this video out right over here it is how to get prodigy epics in 2021 which is still 2022 but maybe i should change that title maybe i should yeah that would be smart anyway uh it's basically how to get the prodigy epic toys still in like nowadays even though the prodigy doesn't sell them you can still find other ways to, uh, to actually obtain them so you can uh, check out that video and see for yourself Unfortunately, the Mythical Epics do not have their own toys and instead just are in the game. So the description for Luminite is, On sunny days, Luminite loves to romp through flower-filled fields, soaking up the sun rays. So again, it is the element of fire. It does have a really good power to health ratio as it has tons and tons of power. Not that much health, but hey, it's still good. It's element fire, which is really good considering even with the power to health ratio that is like double trouble right there luminite is pretty insane i'd say and as we know you have to have either a level up or ultimate prodigy membership to end up actually getting it and then on top of that end up completing the epic quests with it so luminite is pretty cool unfortunately we cannot battle with it as we don't have it and we can't do the and we can't continue that series of luma versus luminite but still just to look at it and and review it is still pretty cool what we can do is we can battle with luma its counterpart which will pretty much give us almost the same results as if we were to battle with the actual luminite i think maybe the luminite would maybe be a little bit stronger but hey you never know so let's just check to make sure the power to health ratio is the same and so is the element but let's just see, we are going to go to Firefly Forest and do a battle with Luma right now on Prodigy. So let's just see how this ends up working out. By the way, this is the old Mythical Epic Blastar, which is pretty cool. And here we go. We're going to be battling with Luma against this, uh, I believe it is a... Scally, that's right. I, I completely had a huge brain fart right there. We're going to be doing Volcanum with Luma right now, and that is the easiest question in the absolute world. We got that correct. I hope we'd get it correct. Like, if we didn't, that'd be kind of sad. So we just did 4,880 damage against the Scally, and he has 3,081 health left. 2,011 damage done by the Scally to Luma. Luma has 6,700 health left. And now we're going to be doing uh, another question. We got that correct. It was four. And now Luma used Volcano. We just two shot that Scally, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, I mean, that is pretty much, I guess, what Luminite would be able to do. Maybe even a little bit stronger. Obviously, Luminite has a different design and a design that's special to itself. Oh, that's right. We're not a member. That's sad. It has a different design, a design that's special to itself. And obviously, it has different you know, battle animations and stuff, um, but it still pretty much is very, very similar, if not the same exact thing as Luma, except just a brand new version of it that Prodigy made. So we're now going to be doing Volcanon, and we just did that, we just got that question correct. We're in another battle against another Scally, and we just did 4,949 damage. So Luma is pretty good. It's like it's not pretty good. It's actually really good. Uh, a lot of people underestimate Luma and Floor Fox as well, which is pretty interesting. Well, Floor Fox isn't as good, but still, a lot of people underestimate Luma for some reason. Although I think it's even maybe better than Magnus Chip. We're gonna have to check in on that. But Luma is not something to be like underestimated about because she's pretty powerful. I'm not gonna lie. I, I mean, it's kind of like she's a baby dragon or whatever, but it's she's still pretty powerful and she does do a lot of damage. So don't underestimate Luma the next time you face a Luma in battle. Don't underestimate it, because it could literally smoke you. Get it? With the fire? 
I'm, I'm so funny because smoke, yeah, fire, yeah. I know I'm very funny. Oh wait, oh we just got ten magic eggs. Oh wow, look at look at us guys. We are so good. Uh, oh we got a flower crown. Oh wow, look at the wow, look at the wow. Okay, I I, I didn't know what I was going for there, but I said wow, look at the wow, look at the wow, look at the. I meant to say wow, look at the background animation because that's actually really cool. But yeah, I just I fumbled. Okay, so we are just gonna get that. Oh wait, we we. Oh yeah, we didn't, we don't have membership, that's right. Okay, how do you feel about doing Math Prodigy? I guess I like it because that's the whole game, so why not? Um, but overall, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah, I don't have that other cloud yet because I'm not special, so I'll just wear the regular one because, yeah. Okay, we're going back to Flora because we finished that quest apparently, but we're not, well, okay. So overall, that's pretty much what happened, and Luma is pretty good. Luma is really good. So that must mean Luminite, considering it's basically its counterpart, should also be really good. So, I mean, Luminite, if I ever get it, oh wait, there's my other account, oh my gosh, look, there's, there's me, uh, there's me and me, that is so cool. Okay, but anyway, in all reality, Luma and Luminite, two of probably the most powerful epics, and oh, we got it, I completely forgot, we have to check Magma Shift stats because we were just talking about it. So let's just see, is Magma Shift actually stronger? Okay, ooh, Magma Shift is stronger than Luma and Luminite, okay. So that must mean Magma, okay then, all right. So, yeah, wow. But still, again, Luma is not something you should be, like, she's very, under, uh, she's very uh, underrated, and you know, you can't underestimate her. She's gonna, she's gonna smoke you. Get it? I'm so funny. I keep making that joke. I know. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more amazing content just like this coming soon. And Prodigy keeps releasing these pretty good mythical epics. I'm not gonna lie. Their designs continue to get better and better. I'm excited to see what Prodigy brings to the future with the next mythical epics. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Subscribe!